what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be a spoiler free review a spoiler free again as i can help it i am going to tease some things let you guys know some things to look forward to but a review for the episodes that are coming up related to chucky season two episodes five through seven uh just to start it off these episodes i would say if you're someone who came out of episode four death on denial feeling like that was too much like cedar chucky and you're already not a fan of cedar chucky i like all the chucky movies but of course there are some that i would say are weak than others see the chucky is the one i would say is the worst in the series but episodes five through seven they are not as seed of chucky as episode four was again that's just a nice nugget for any of you who will find that to be good news if you did not enjoy episode four or if you're not again a fan of seed of chucky so five episodes five through seven does more of a balance back and forth between legacy stars and our trio at incarnate lord so i can't praise the acting enough though because we all just saw jennifer tilly put on one of her best performances in the series with episode four despite any gripes you might have had jennifer tilly was firing on all cylinders in that episode uh, and she continues going forward to portray that lovable maniac that is that is tiffany valentine so masterfully going forward you'll get to see the amount of self-hate that's within tiffany and that just kind of also shines a light on why becoming jennifer tilly was such a crucial moment for her these moments where she's kind of depicting this within herself while having conversations with glenn it's so kind of like to me adding more layers to why that goal she was trying to accomplish in seat of chucky was so important is like ah that adds that makes it a little bit more interesting that she feels this way about herself and jennifer tilly was uh again a very crucial moment for her that we know as we saw in cedar chucky lexi and nadine's bond is very significant for lexi's arc this season obviously because we know she's struggling with addiction but there are a few horrific moments in these upcoming episodes that will solidify how comforting nadine has been for lexi jake and devin's drama isn't nearly as compelling as the dynamic between lexi and nadine but jorvin and zach are firing in terms of their performances but their material to me is like something i found my I, I can't find myself to be overly invested in that as much as i do is what's going on with the girls that are involved uh, their relationship being challenged by the church is something that might entice some viewers. For me, it's not that they don't have any compelling material at all, but Chucky causing a rift between them just does not have the same emotional impact Nadine and Lexi are going to bring. Especially when you have Olivia, who again is doing some of her best work in this season compared to the last season. Zach and again Bajorvin, they're talented in what they are doing, but Olivia and what she's being given and how she's able to bring it to life in her delivery, she is just the more compelling out of the three when it relates to our trio that we know and love. So the writing can be a bit head scratching at times. I've already told you guys over on Twitter that there are two surprises in episode episode five one of them i have to say is so unnecessary and i say that knowing what happens in episode six and seven following this particular surprise it's a turn of event turn of events that will make you question why it was written in any way some of you not all of you this particular surprise is related to tiffany just to give you another clue and it adds context to how she's been able to maintain a fake persona as jennifer tilly for so long sadly what comes after it made me go okay so had this type of context been revealed in season one then the results that come after won't feel so wasted and underwhelming because it really does feel like like, okay why did you do that you could have left it how it was because it was related to an established piece of continuity that we already found to be true another fan theory also i've seen floating around will come true as well it adds another layer to certain events that from the end of season one and the majority of things that have been transpiring in season two if you were sick of the wackiness it's here to stay i'm not gonna lie there but nowhere near what episode four was in my eyes i just know a section of chucky fans are ready for a more serious approach again and i can't say that i'm not either what i do love about this series is that it's able to adapt and not continuously tell you to take this so serious when they're not taking themselves very serious in in and of themselves but perhaps you know a little bit more of that flavor that we saw them kind of bring back in curse of chucky i would love to see that going forward in a third season so there is one major out of nowhere moment that i think was executed brilliantly it's a moment that gives you a false sense of security but then you realize something isn't right and then it becomes this nightmare sequence that you just can't avoid it's just it's all there you can't you can't come back from it and i have to shout them out for going there with this because it was a very dark moment it's definitely going to pull at the heartstrings of fans too that have gotten invested in the material that it's related to all in all the second half of the season i think is 
doing a lot better job at again balancing between legacy stars and the uh trio that we've got been introduced to since the first season and they do culminate into some activities that go on in episode seven i won't outright say it but it's in respect to giving homage paying homage and a reference to the exorcist there are some there are some returns featured in the series related to the mentions of the dimbala chant uh not that that's been gone for a very long time but you will get to hear the dimbala chant again i think that everyone in terms of a performances again is much better this time around in this season so that's why i am going to favor season two so far over season one mostly due to the performances that i'm seeing i think that the series is also doing a better job at just writing more compelling material for the characters uh despite again even though Devin and Jake's material isn't as compelling as Lexi's, it's still giving them a dynamic that I know many people will find themselves invested in. And there's some great character development going on. Uh, again, the religious backgrounds and the fact that that's being their relationship is being challenged by their surroundings and things that are not acceptable. There is a moment that uh, Devin actually has coming up that I know might upset some people, but it's an appropriate sequence that kind of highlights how people that are gay could feel when challenged like that because it's something that we should all just be accepting of in the sense that even though you might not want want to follow a lifestyle like that obviously because not everyone is gay it doesn't mean that you should demean anyone that is gay just let them exist so i thought that was a very important scene especially when it comes to come in terms to the relationship between devin and jake there are some gruesome kills that you're going to see someone gets hit by a truck uh someone blows up <laughs> and someone falls out of a window that's what i'll say i'm not going to say who those things are related to but you have three deaths that are coming up one of them again is something that i think is going to leave people floored uh, in the aftermath from it might be a little bit of a fire starter over on Twitter and on Chucky Twitter. But the season so far, again, I think this is a vast improvement compared to season one. The only thing I think they should probably do better is maybe improve on the suspense and tension going forward in season three. Maybe improve in some of the pacing. Certain things I could argue go on for far too long, whereas certain other things that might maybe could have gone on a little bit longer are short. But those are all my comments I have on episodes five through seven related to Chucky season two. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future i would also love to see some dialogue improvements honestly and again just dial back a bit on the wackiness but with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video